Fox, Carolina, First Alert Weather Day update. Welcome back, everyone. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Catherine Noel. We have multiple First Alert Weather Days due to some rain. Now, today it's all about Election Day, people being outside waiting to vote here at the polls, and we have a good chance of some spotty light showers. Obviously something you don't want to be waiting around and even seeing this rain coming on down right now here currently. Hendersonville off towards the east. We're seeing mainly it on sides of the eastern portions of the western North Carolina area down towards Fingerville into Boiling Springs. Cleveland Park down towards Fairmont. Very light spotty showers towards Woodruff over 26 into Lawrence and Mountville, but just continuing to spread in from the south, moving north throughout the day and then moving over and shifting a bit into to the west. So central parts of areas like the upstate Greenville County are going to see the rain mid to late morning coming on through and even shifting a bit more westward by the afternoon into areas like Pickens and Oconee County. So of course we want that umbrella, the rain gear handy today if you're going to be out voting, if you're going to be out in general. Expect a mostly cloudy day with temperatures in the 60s eventually. Rain chances increase Wednesday night into Thursday morning and this is going to bring our best bet for that heavy rain. Another reason why we declared it a first alert weather day. I think that morning commute on Thursday could be a Rough one for some, and we're going to see potentially inches of rain, which we'll talk about the most that we have seen since Helene for some. So areas off towards tomorrow morning could see a spotty shower. A lot of cloud cover is still maintaining. A fairly dry Wednesday morning and even mostly dry Wednesday afternoon towards early evening, but starting to see those showers coming on in. Now, heaviest rain will likely be towards our south, but there is a good chance we still could see, especially ID5, ID5 south, some moderate to heavier downpours here from Anderson towards Lawrence over 26 into Greenwood. This is early Thursday morning, really starting to build up to during the morning commute time frame, 7, 8 o'clock on Thursday. So from Greenville south, again, over 85. This is where it lingers. If you're north of that, you still have a good chance of seeing Seeing some light rain, some spotty showers, but it's just not going to be as much as what we're going to see linger from 85 south, looking much clearer into Thursday evening and night, and then maybe even bringing back chances of rain into the weekend, which we'll talk about. But we could see about an inch of rain, half an inch in areas north of 85 south of that, two to three inches of rain possible. Now, we do need the rain. Doesn't look to bring any flooding concerns right now, and this is something if we see a northward shift, obviously we'll have to take up those totals, but this is something that we're just keeping an eye on as well that we can forecast maybe seeing some tropical moisture head from Raphael up towards the north seeing some rain potential but right now keeping things a little bit maintained because of those models going back and forth a little difference with our long term so right now just expect a cooler and cloudier weekend